Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at this function, which is the binome cumulative distribution function, also called binome CDF. And we're going to solve a problem, make sense of it, and analyze it using Desmos, because we can do that. So the problem we'll look at is this. A fair coin is tossed 100 times. What is the probability that there will be at most five heads? So this function is designed for this type of question, especially when we see that phrase, at most. Now on Desmos, to analyze that question, you could use a binome PDF function. And essentially what that would do is it would take, um, what are we doing, like 100 trials. So there's 100 factorial ways of per, uh, arranging 100, 100 things, excuse me. And we are choosing five of them to be heads and the rest not. Okay, so uh, how many different ways can we choose five heads from 100 flips? Well, this right here, right? 100 choose five. Then the probability of getting a head is 0.5. We're doing that five times. Times 0.5 to the 95. And we could uh, combine these two probabilities, P and uh, P, the space, and Q, because of the same base. And we can always just write 0.5 to the hundredth, but I want you to see that structure right there. So this is the problem of getting exactly five heads, right? But if I said at most five heads, you'd have to calculate all the different binome PDFs. You'd have to calculate, well, what if I choose zero heads and all tails? Very unlikely, right? This becomes a zero, and this becomes a hundred. And with up to five, you could just copy this and paste it. And then change this to 1. This would go 1. This would be 99 as well. And then repeat. Plus, I mean, it's a little tedious here. You can go now with two heads. And this would be 98 tails. And this would be heads twice, tails the other 98 times. I don't want to do, I mean, the idea is, the motivation, I suppose, is that you don't really want to deal with these long strings of equations. This is the binome P PDF for zero heads and one head and two heads and three heads and four heads, oops, four heads and five heads. You don't want to do that. It might not only be annoying, but just simply impractical for, what if I asked you at most uh, 60 heads? You would use 60 binome PDFs? You'd have to. But instead of doing all the binome PDFs individually up to a certain point, you could do a binome CDF. Now, to do that, we need our summation symbol. And one nice thing about Desmos is you can just type in the word sum to get the um, summation symbol. That's one way to do it. Or you can go down to the keyboard here. You can click functions, there's a whole bunch of stuff, right? All these different formulas under miscellaneous, you'll see the summation formula. So that's another way of doing it. So the summation uh, symbol here, we're starting at some value. They give us an N, I'll use an A. And in this case, it starts at zero. That is representing the starting point, the starting number of heads we're considering from zero up into some variable, let's say uh, five. All right, so it's going to go from 0 through 5. And it was, was the summation tells us to add up all of the steps for the function up to that point. What function? Well, the binome PDF function. We start with a factorial. Um, sorry, n factorial. That's the number of trials. As I, I usually label it using n. And then we're choosing at first uh, a of them, factorial, times n minus... Uh, a factorial. Then we take times p, the probability that we're looking at, to the power of a times q to the power of n minus a. Okay, Desmos wants to add variables. Thank you, Desmos. I would like variables for n, p, and q. Okay, so here, n, in our case, we don't want to start at a negative. This is probability. We have um, up to 100 trials, let's say, by steps of 1. And I could have just said that n is equal to 100. That's the number of trials. p is the probability of a success, which is just 0.5. q is always going to be 1 minus p. You could, have, in this case, just say 0.5. And then um, 
A starts at zero, you can see it here it's set at zero, and it's going to go up to five, right? So now this function right here, the binome CDF, tells us the cumulative distribution function prob uh, probability up to five, uh, okay, up to five heads. That's what it is right here. Okay, so we can actually get this into a table. Press the plus button. Here's our table. Okay, now we have x1 values here. I'm going to drag this right next to our summation formula. And let's just go 0 through 5. What these x rep values represent are the values of the number of heads that we're analyzing used in the binome CDF function. So if x1 is 5, I'm saying what's the probability of getting at most 5 heads? If it's 4, I'm saying what is the probability of getting at most 4 heads, and so on and so forth. Now in this column right here, I want to enter my binome CDF function, which I already have. Now the binome feed CDF function already has some values in there, but I want to modify it. I want to modify it because all these values are the same, and that's that's because I'm just posting it. I'm pasting in a specific example of the formula. So here we go from a sub zero up to a number, and that's the range essentially of binome PDFs that we're adding from zero up into whatever number is on top. So that number on top is going to change to x sub 1 because that's what this column represents. It represents the uh, up to the number of heads that we're looking at here. And you can see now that we actually have that matched right here. Now I'm going to pull this over. This graph doesn't look very interesting, so what you could do is keep hitting, sh just hold shift down and just drag, 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 drag your graph until you get some kind of result. Let's see if I can even get the scale here. I'm almost there. Negative 23rd. Jeez, that's really far. <laughs> so here. Come on. Almost there. Getting there. There it goes. Okay. So you can see this shape right here. It's very dramatic, the climb. So let's go a little bit further and see if we can figure out what's going on. We want 6 and it's like automatically calculate. Maybe let's go up to, let's see how far let's go, how about 100? Let's see, let's see if we can get to go to 100 and see what this graph looks like. Okay, so there it is at 100. I'm gonna just hold on to shift here. Actually press the home button real quick. When I hold shift, I can see that shape of the graph. Isn't that cool? This is what the binome CDF graph looks like and you wanna kind of make sense of it and explain the general shape of it it's so low in the beginning, it starts to climb up rapidly and then approaches one. Why might it make sense, right? Think about some of these key points here. It's very likely that, let's go over here, certain, excuse me, that you get at most 100 heads because that includes the probability of everything beneath it added together, which is every single possibility, right? It's the probability of getting at most zero heads all the way up to the probability of getting at most 100 heads and everything in between. And that's why these numbers over here are so close to one because they include all the probabilities before it. It's cumulative. So uh, I hope that helps you a little bit and gets you started on analyzing this problem. Thank you.